A subtle lifeline through time connects centuries and millenniums through their events, following which line one comes to understand man and how he has constructed his cultural and social growth. In antique times, the boundaries between states had a different political connotation. That which today is called Libya is a territory where some of the most marvelous products of man were created in time stages which varied greatly one from another. Libya, the fourth largest African state, is throughout the most part of its territory covered by the largest desert in the world, the Sahara, nine million square kilometers of sand and rock. The wind, master of these spaces, dominates and models the landscape, painting in time the sand and rocks with different shades of color. The word Sahara in Arabic means great void, and it's difficult to imagine that here, 15,000 years ago, that void was filled with green prairies, lakes, forests, rivers, and a great quantity of animals.